Hi, um, Nick from Hi-Fi Collective here. Today we're going to be building a, the Glasshouse TVC uh, preamplifier. Now, TVC stands for Transform Volume Control. This is the baby here. This is one of the transformers. So these are auto transformers. So effectively, let's just do a little drawing. It's one wind like this. The input goes in at the top. So the input goes in at tag number 23 here. So tag 23. And then tag zero is earth. So tag zero is here. And then as the signal comes through here, you've got numerous taps on the wind here. And then you have a switch which basically runs up and down here, feeding off all these taps. So real, really simple kind of construction. Um, the great thing about TVCs is they're incredible, incredibly neutral. There's, they're very low impedance. So um, effectively they're kind of like a mix between an active preamp and a resistor preamp. So let's start with the, the construction. First of all, we have to do all the, um, the fitting of the connectors, etc. So I'm going to start with oops, the RCAs. So with, for the RCAs, standard, we use these insulated gold-plated RCAs. Very popular in the audio field. So you'll see at the back, left and right channel, you've got six inputs, one record, and two outputs. You've also got a hole here for your earth post, which we'll do second. So they'll just basically start at the top, do one at a time. Just take them apart. You'll see that there's a insulation washer. You don't want these being electrically, con no contact between the chassis. So one there, so that goes on the outside. That one goes on the inside. And then the solder tag is like that. And then like that. And then you just do as tight as you can by hand. And then we'll do, we'll give it a full tighten later. So when you've got it like that, just you can have to bend these up, but it's better to do it after you've done, you actually screw them tight. So you just run along all of these, doing the same. You can use, you can customize your own TVC if you want to. You can just buy the chassis and then get all the different separate bits because there's so many different. RCA sockets you can use. Another good thing to do before we start tightening them, turn it over, put, put the sticky feet on, stop the, the chassis sliding all over the place. So you can see these holes here, you need to keep them free of um, any of the feet, so just give it a wipe. And then leave any space. This is just self self adhesive. Self adhesive. They look like dairy milk. Don't eat them. So now when you do, it's not going to slide around all over the place. All right, now I'm going to tighten them up. I use a rocket socket wrench. I said I nearly said rocket cinch or something like that. So then, with a spanner, keeping it in place. Be 
careful because sometimes you can slip and then you just rip your skin on one of the the, bit, the edges of the connector. See on the inside, you want to bend these up like this. Yeah, you see that? Because you're going to fit the red, the right channel ones there, and the solder tag is going to come up like that as well. So, red next. I generally bend them over like that before I actually fit them. In the second layer. And now on the third layer line, left channel. So with this one, you can see because these are these get wired together, you see, they're paired up, as do these, so that's why I'm doing it that way. So there you go, all lined up. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Inside, they're all kind of paired up for wiring up later. So this hole here is for your earth post. It's not essential to have an earth post on these preamps because there's no, it's not like a phono stage where you have a wire attached. But we just put one in because internally the wiring can all gather at the star point, this earth post. So, uh, so to assemble these, take it apart. The nut that's fixed goes on externally. Internally, serrated washer, solder tags times three. And then the nut. Try and splay out the um, solder tags. Side. And just tighten. Don't go mad with the tightening because I'll break. And then the external part. Other thing. So the rear panel is now got all its connectors attached. So let's turn to the front. As you can see here, there's various kind of holes, etc. This is so that you can fit any kind of switch, the silent switch, the blues, the armor switch, and also the A47 if you're gonna just do a resistive one. Because we do sell this chassis on its own. Uh, this one is your selector here, which will fit the, either type of the um, armor switches. So, what I'm going to do first is actually fit the front panel. So here's a front panel, like this. Pretty straightforward. <coughs> You're going to use some M4 countersunk screws. So make sure it's the right way around. God, I've done it so many times the wrong way around. Line up the holes internally. Oh, you see the holes now. Fit it with screwdriver. Don't do it tight to begin with, just get them all lined up. You could 
do a smaller one right smaller An old kind of snipey nosed pair. Good. With this Elmer switch here, it's got um, an adapter on it, so six is, fits a six mil. So these are our glass house 36, 35 mil knobs. So that all lines up. Bling, bling, bling. Right, before we start doing anything with the, the volume control, because the way that works is these transformers sit like that internally, and then the switch sits there. But to wire those up, it's much easier to do it out of the box and then put it in the box when it's, when it's sorted. So I put that to the side. What we're going to do is wire the signal input. So that's all this stuff going off to the switch. 